The Trump presidency broke a lot of people's brains, especially journalists. Previously sane, respected reporters became unglued under Trump, and they turned into raving loons. <laughs> Unfortunately, some of them never recovered. They're still out there, screaming into the void. Most of the time, we don't hear them, but sometimes they do something so stupid, primetime's forced to take note. Enter self-described award-winning multimedia journalist David Levitt. He became very angry with Tina Ramirez. She's a Republican running for Virginia State Senate, who had the audacity to wish her followers a happy Columbus Day saying this, I teach my children real American history. I refuse to join the radical left's campaign to erase history. Now, Mr. Levitt couldn't let that stand. He responded, why are you celebrating torture, rape, murder, and enslavement? Happy Columbus Day. He then proceeded to encourage his Twitter followers to call Child Protective Services on Ramirez before doing it himself. Unfortunately, the lines were a little busy that day and he got a little fussy when he was put on hold, first for 10 minutes, then for 20, and after holding for an hour, finally hung up. This is what unhinged people do. A so-called journalist spent an hour on the phone calling Child Protective Services because a Republican wished somebody happy Columbus Day. He was clogging up the phone lines while people were actually trying to report real child abuse charges. And he stands by what he did. Joining me now is Virginia State Senate candidate Tina Ramirez. Did someone from the organization Child Protective Services ever contact you? No, thankfully. And look, here in Virginia, we have an amazing governor, lieutenant governor, and attorney general, Jason Meares. I spoke with his office this morning. I can assure you, and they've assured me, that nothing will come of this, uh, that they are 100% behind parents' rights, and we're going to be fine. But for someone like this to have the audacity to attack a single mother who is the sole provider for her child, and to literally try to have that child taken away from them because he is so set on his feelings being hurt, over me celebrating a holiday with my child is beyond the pale. And that's what's wrong with these progressive leftists in America right now. And that's why that's why people across the board voted in Governor Youngkin and the Republicans last year in Virginia and why it's gonna continue because they're sick and tired Parents like me are being told how, what, to tell, what to teach our kids, how to teach, what to teach them to think. We are sick and tired of them telling us how to raise our kids, and it needs to stop. So this guy you see on the screen, Levitt, he's a freak. He writes bylines for pretty respectable, I mean, I would call them mainstream outlets like CBS. You know, these are, these are mainstream legacy media outlets. And, 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 and they're paying a guy like this to take away the children of a candidate for office because they wish someone happy Columbus Day? Do you, do you, do you want to contact any of his employers or are you just going to kind of let this sit? Look, Jesse, I work all around the world. What this guy doesn't know about me, because clearly he didn't do his didn't, didn't do his background check. I work all around the world for the last 20 years defending human rights for all people. I've written children's books to teach children how to value the freedom of others and the dignity of others. So for him to come and attack me and to push his leftist propaganda is just a perfect example of how the lefts are more willing to push their ideology than to actually protect children. I mean, for him to sit on the on the hotline for an hour tweeting about <laughs> it the whole time, his his rant about about, you know, oh, they're not there yet. They're not there yet. Over 300,000 followers this guy has. How many of I mean, I want to know who his followers are that are following that kind of a nut. But the fact that he has so many followers and he's holding up a hotline that is not that is supposed to be there to provide real services and immediate help to children in need is abhorrent. He needs to be held accountable for that. You're absolutely right, Jesse. This is appalling. Uh, well, if you have an hour to kill to call in a <laughs> fake threat over something on a hotline, you, you probably have a pretty sad life. All right. Thank you for joining us. Well, this is the kind of thing. Yeah, go ahead. Exactly. <laughs> this is the kind of this is the kind of thing we see in East Germany or in you know other countries. I, I work in Iraq. It's the kind of thing we see there and in communist countries. It's not the kind of thing we should be seeing in America. Calling calling a hotline to take away children from parents because you disagree with their with a, celebrating a holiday. I mean, it, it's it's insane. Listen, just don't wish anybody happy Thanksgiving because that could be that could be a hate crime. <laughs> Thank you so much that for joining us. That could backfire us. too. <laughs> and, I'm, and I'm and I'm glad the kids Thank you, are Jesse. all right. Take care.
Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.